What is up guys? Welcome to the studio. We are in our brand new gas kiln shed. So as you can see, it's a separate shed from the studio. So we came through and we are, this is our second ever firing. So go check out the other videos we posted if you wanna see how we got this, how we built this shed. Very excited about this kiln. A couple things about this kiln. So we're still learning. This is only our second firing in this kiln so far. And gas is not the same as electric. So electric is very predictable. It's very even heat. Um, you don't have to do very much. You just kind of push buttons and come back and it's done, right? Gas takes a little bit more finagling. You know, you're constantly adjusting things based on, you know, previous firings, based on what the cones look like. So we know from this firing already that the top got to cone nine and the bottom got to cone 11. And so that's a little bit more of a difference than we want. So every time we fire this kiln, hopefully we're gonna get better and understand more about how to do it. We fired it in about seven hours, so that was pretty quick. So we have some ideas about how to even out the heat, but if you're a gas firing expert and you're watching this, I'd love your comments about what you think we can do to even out the heat a little bit. Because the burners come in from the bottom and then the chimney is also in the bottom. So getting that heat to come up to the top. I learned from the person that used to own this kiln that that was an issue for her too. So the, the bottom was always a little hotter than the top, but we don't want it to be two cones different. We probably, you know, one cone or half a cone different would be better. So let's just check it out, see how it goes. We'll talk a lot more about things as we go. Oh yeah. All right, see some really, really interesting, cool stuff. So in here, you can see the top. This is the cone 10. You can see it's not down. So we did not reach cone 10. This is cone nine and it's down. So we definitely got to cone nine. And then on the bottom, this is cone 11 right here. And that's down and cone 10's down. So we got plenty hot on the bottom, uh, not as hot on the top, which is okay. I mean, it's not a big deal. Couple cool ones on the top. That's Muddy Waters over Raspberry Mist. Celadon Bloom. This is a sand dollar over Riptide. I'm super excited about this ash glaze. So this is a wood ash glaze. So I just took 50% wood ash, 50% red art, and that's all that is, sprayed it on. So tons of pots in here. It's gonna take us a little while to unload. All right, unfortunately, this one did have a, a cone drip on it. Right there, I think. See here, this is our the Insanity. Insanity refired in the gas. Got some pinholes. Not a huge fan, I'm gonna have to refire it in the electric kiln, I think. Here, this one is pretty cool. So this is Sand Dollar, Mako Sand Dollar over Riptide, which the first one that really turned out purple. And there we go, that. So that's Norse Blue with uh, an ash glaze sprayed on. That's one of the main reasons I am excited about gas, is for the ash glaze potential. Just really cool, super fun. There's another one. I, I really liked this combo in the first uh, firing. This one didn't turn out quite as good. I mean, still cool. I'd say it's pretty unique, but may have to refire some of those. We'll see. Ah, uh, here, this one's cool. That's very cool. Sandstone. Wow, nice. Carved. It's like a little sipper. This was Kai's idea. Or he saw it somewhere. Sandstone with green tea over top. That is a pretty sweet combo right there. There you can see that little strip of purple coming. Sweet though, that's really sweet. Oh, that, I mean, look at that clay, the dark and the, very cool. Strontium Crystal Magic over, or with Celadon Bloom over it. Celadon Bloom. I've never had results that I really liked of this glaze in the electric kiln, and so I'm pretty pretty happy with it in the, in the gas kiln so far. This was a refire, worked out, not too different. That alabaster is cool looking in the, in the gas. Oh yeah, that's sweet. Sweet, sweet. That is pretty cool. That is dark blue gloss. I'm really happy with that. I'm really happy with the ash glaze. Just, just really cool. Little bare clay down there. So I kind of tried to spread things out because I know that the bottom is gonna be a little different than the top. So I need to manage my expectations. You know, we are still like learning a lot about this kiln. Give us a few more firings and I think we'll have it, we'll have it some zoned, dialed in. But as of right now, it's still a little, still a little up in the air, but that's cool. Look at the color of the clay. That's one thing about the atmospheric firings like this is that they, 
really do fun and funky things to the clay bodies. This one's cool. Cool planter. Look, turned out really good. Really, really good. Really cool clay color again. I like that clay a lot. Very dark. What is this combo? Wow. Sandstone with something. That's really, really cool. What is that? Some of this stuff maybe doesn't come through in the camera, but it's really nice. Nice, that's sweet. Alabaster over black gloss. I like that a lot. It's a pretty big, like, hefty mug. This is mostly wood fire porcelain. Well, mostly, I should say. A lot of it's wood fire porcelain. A lot of it is also bee clay or... That's really, really nice. I really like that glaze. Very cool. Very, very cool. This one, I like this glaze a lot. It's really cool. It just got a little bit bubbly, which I guess that kind of happens in the electric kiln too a little bit. Pretty sweet. That would not look like that in the electric kiln. Here's more of that Riptide or Sand Dollar over Riptide. Not really like I expected it to look, but there we go. That's like a ginormous mug. Sell it on Bloom over Norse Blue. I mean, that's like gotta be like a 28 ounce, 30 ounce mug. Ha, that's super cool. Like what? It's really a nice combo. Even if it doesn't quite turn purple, I bet on the bottom if I put this combo, which I did, it will look a lot different than this. There's Norse Blue with Ash Glaze. I really love, I just like that ash glaze a lot. I think it looks really, so that's just wood ash. It's like the cheapest glaze in the world. This is cool. So this is, must be, I don't know what this is. Sandstone. Nice, that one looks super good. Super, super good. What is that? What is it? Is it sandstone with winter wood on top? Carved, basically like a carved in the middle. Sell it on bloom. Wow. So this one, green tea. Green tea with ash glaze. Look at that dark brown clay. Red gloss with ash glaze. I really like those. And I could even go a little more on the ash glaze. That's exciting. I think I gotta get a sprayer. Gotta get a sprayer for that ash glaze. But it looks really nice. I'm super happy with that. So that's the difference between like ash glaze on a darker like buff stoneware clay body. And here it is on a lighter clay clay body like B clay or wood fire porcelain. Same glaze on the bottom, just totally different look. Nice. And non, you know, you can't do this in the electric kiln. Oh my gosh, that's cool. What is it? I gotta look back. That's so cool. It's that's rose, rose quartz. quartz. Yeah. Look at that. The ash. Look how much more the ash drip versus like this. Yeah, it's really interesting. That's pretty cool. A Norse blue over winter wood, probably. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice one. That's a keeper. Solid works anywhere in the kiln. That's probably like one of my favorite. So I think, I mean, I am really surprised at how different some of the pots turned out in this firing than the first one. Right. I mean, that one is like freaking money. That is so good. All right, well, we just got it all unloaded. Definitely still learning a lot about this. So we, I talked to Matthew Kelly on the phone. I called the person who's, or I talked to the person who used to own the kiln and gave us some good tips about how to even out the heat. We're gonna fire a little slower. We're gonna put target bricks in there. So. It was fun, it's a good experiment. I got some really good pots out. I got some not so good pots out, but we're gonna keep working at it and we'll get her dialed. All right, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.